Filomeno knew that the owl wasn't someone who'd welcome him with open arms, even with the presence of a child. It was 2017 when he first fought against the owl. They were both a little greener behind the ears. Filomeno was just about to retire as a low-level criminal called the Leon, but this kid, obviously not the old Quago his father would tell tales about, was after him. Always determined to pin him down for his past crimes. He learned that the owl was strong for his size. The owl was just this five foot tall person in makeshift armor and a cloak. A small person compared to Filomeno, which was more built like a soldier at almost six feet tall. Right now, with the help of Filomeno's own technical knowledge, he figured out that the owl this time was employing magnetic field aids with a mix of shape-shifting tech of some sort that helps with flight, weapon formation, durability, and augmented strength. This was why he was able to completely flatten the old abandoned burger machine stand. Good thing was Filomeno came prepared. The owl definitely knew. He wouldn't just do that to an unarmed civilian. As the smoke settled, the two adversaries glared at each other. The owl looked at the belt and gauntlets Filomeno was wearing. It was emitting some sort of magnetic field as well, but mostly used as a field that protects the wearer from low-caliber weaponry. Filomeno didn't need strength augmentation. He knew as much. The two proceeded to battle. Each punch had a force that could break a full-grown tree. Both, however, were pretty much equal in strength. Athena, meanwhile, didn't enjoy being encased in an orange egg-shaped force field as her father was trading punches with the person that was supposed to help them. So she closed her eyes and concentrated very hard.